uh, Oklahomans, like always, are coming together to, uh, to pick up the damage, and uh, we can rebuild the structures. Recovery teams are working right now to restore power and clear debris from streets of Seminole after Wednesday night's EF2 tornado. That's where News 9's Caleb Califano is reporting live for us this morning. Caleb? Hey, good morning, guys. Well, we are now live at the Academy of Seminole that was hit hard by Wednesday night storms. It's a school of around 300 students. That was two weeks before the end of school. They just announced that they will not be returning to the classroom. All 14 of their classrooms are actually in modular units just like these ones, and all of them were destroyed by the storms. It's just part of the city that was hit by those storms. Another part is downtown, which at this time is still without power. Now take a look at this video from Bob Mills Drone 9 from the damage yesterday. People from all over this area were working hard to pick up the pieces of their community after it was hit Wednesday. Even people from outside of Seminole decided to make their way into town and provide any way they could, whether it was with the cleanup or even providing food. Here at the Academy, one of the teachers tells News 9 it's difficult to see his classroom destroyed by the storms. The memories we had that would be difficult for us to do. Um, I do some unique seating, as you can see. We have some saucer chairs and some gaming chairs. Yeah. And I mean, that's, that's Emily's chair. And that's where she sits. And I'm just glad that we're here. Mm -hmm. It's very emotional. For storm victims still in need of help today, the Red Cross has their shelter open at the Kelly Haney Center at Seminole State College. And more government, government, government officials will be here today as well. Governor Kevin Stitt was here yesterday, and Senator James Langford is expected to be here today. He's expected to arrive at noon. We're live in Seminole, Caleb Califano, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.